The words Watch Hill Barracks have been carved into the rock wall here. They are still barely legible. Let's see. In here... Oh, there's a couple nests. Oh, a living tool. And... Ah! Oh, dear. Fine. Come get us! Ah! You were supposed to come closer. Fine. Close enough. Let's see. What's in this area here? Aha! Yeah. Iron not soup! There he is. Yes, bite him! I said bite him, not. Uh, there. Ow! How come a Natsu can get hurt by fire when I can't? I'm a guardian. I'm made of flesh. Natsu is made of fire. Eh. I don't know. Cloak and a rock. Nothing special. Alright. Let's see what's around the southeast corner. Ah! Down that goes. That's the east entrance. And in here, oh my, there are quite a few of these guys. Jeez, this place is full of them. See a few canister remains, but uh, I don't know what else might be there. Thorns, nothing there. More thorns. Go around. Trash, and trash. And more trash. And here, a ring. We can sell that. <laughs> Ooh, there's a canister. Thorn baton, shit and armor, icy crystal. Living tool and thorns. Shackles. Sometimes creations go rogue. When this happens, they need to be controlled. And let's see what this gives us. Ooh. We can create a thought if we want. Hmm. You know what? We don't really need a thought right now. Sure, it'll be helpful with punching things, but I think an artilla would be nicer. We'll need to level up, though. Probably twice. I mean, why do we need another person, another creature to run up and punch things when we can stab things, but just as effectively? Hmm. Oh, there's Cerula! Where the hell were you? Jeez! I'm not gonna wait for you forever, you know. I mean, come on. Keep up. Oh. Alright. Why don't you come and get us? Ah! Hey! I can't even see you! Sneaky son of a... And where the heck did you rule like There you are! Why are you not following? Aha! Now you're following. Ooh! Leveled up! Marvelous! Take care of that shortly. Hmm? Wow. That is actually surprisingly strong. A hammer, and another healing pod. You know what? Let's level up. Let's see. Well, we did have to take care of magic shaping so that we can get under Attila. That'll be nice to have. And with the extra two skill points, quick action and anatomy, we now have five of each. Marvelous. Ooh, let us make an Artillo, why the hell not? Because we'd have absolutely no essence and not be able to heal at all. You know what, I'll wait just a bit more. We'll do it next time. Next level up. Ah, uh, you die.
There we go. What the? Oh, there's another one there. Alright, we'll investigate that room after. You can see two things of great interest in the chamber ahead. First, there is a pool of essence. However, it doesn't look right. It is dark and vicious, and it puts off an unpleasant vinegar smell. It's not anything you could use. It's very strange stuff, and not made by shapers. Second, there is a creature there, rooted to the floor like a huge plant. It's a horrible, slimy beast with three large tentacle-like tubes sticking out of the top. As you watch, it quickly squeezes a small fiora out of one of them. If this horrible thing is a shaper creation, you've never heard of it before. As you watch in horror, it absorbs some of the gray essence and begins to create another creature. The mystery of where all the rogues came from has been solved. Hmm. Oh dear. That doesn't really look very nice. And it's got tentacles. Yee. Oh, thank you. Well, I guess that means whatever was causing this- Oh jeez! Yep, it spawns them. Which means we're gonna need to take it out quickly. Fortunately, we're killing the creatures faster than they're kill faster than they can attack us. Either way, we gotta take care of this thing fast. Kill it! Oh jeez, that has a fair bit of health. Oh jeez. Stab it! There, it's dead. Why is it still alive? Kill it! There. Well, the spawner thing is dead. Ooh, three gemstones. Nice. Wonder why it had gemstones. Hell, I wonder what created the thing! Huh. Well, finishing investigating this little area here, if there's anything in these. Nothing in there, nothing in there, and nothing in there. Still, I think we can safely say we've cleared out what's in this place, and we don't have to worry about the spawner thing, so I guess now we just have to worry about, I don't know, migration patterns or the like. Though, we probably won't get too many of those things through migration patterns or whatever. I mean, especially compared to that. I mean, look how fast it was putting those things out! <sighs> oh well. I'm sure we'll never encounter another one of those things again. For now, let's go tell them what we did. Alright then. Uh, I found that the rogues to the east were being created by some sort of huge spawning thing. I killed it. You have done well. You have assisted us, and, as equals, we will pay you in kind for your trouble. Kobar hands you a pouch. You look inside. It is filled with tiny, well-worn gold coins, all centuries old. What could have created that thing you found? It is odd. Strange events are happening on Susia, and we know nothing of what they are or how to deal with them. I hope you can understand these events, because we can't. If you wish to learn more of what is happening, you should go east. If you are not leaving immediately, however, there is a way in which you can help us, again, for fair pay. Hmm. Well, our quest did actually help us out a bit. We got another canister, which was nice, although we don't really need a thawed. And, hey, we got a lot of experience killing creatures, and... Oh uh, well, let's see what. How else can I help you? You should speak with El Hara if you have not already. And I need to get a message to him, but I can't endanger my people on the e eastern road. He gives you a scroll. Take this to El Hara. When it is done, I will pay you again. And when you meet El Hara, you should speak with him. You may not think that a servile can be wise. If so, I think you will be surprised. Well, the serviles have certainly proven they are intelligent. Why wouldn't they be wise? And again, those are two different com stats. Ah well. I think we've done just about everything we can do in Vakiri. 
Yeah, all those quests are taken care of. Oh! Although we do need to uh, sell the gems we found. Still wonder why it had gems. Oh well. I mean, most creatures don't hold items that they aren't going to be using. Hell, I've only found rings on Thods and a few coins. The Th Fioras and Artillas haven't dropped anything. So, I don't know what it could be. Oh well. Maybe it's part of whatever created it. And what did create it? I mean, geez. Yes, these serviles are creations, but... Could they really have made something like that? Okay, they are intelligent. And they have proven us wrong, us wrong in several other ways, so... Who knows? Maybe. They could surprise us. Oh, well. We may as well go see Elhra. Actually, we'll do that in the next episode. <sighs> because I've pretty much been doing one area per episode, so... Why break tradition? Everything's going well as it is, so... Yeah, nothing, nothing else he has to say, so we'll stop it here. And for now, I am JustRick44, that's Elliot, that's Natsu. We have enjoyed our stay here, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.